What's up everyone? So in today's video, we're gonna be working on the Tacoma. This is gonna be a nice little mod I think you guys will enjoy before a huge mod is coming that will be the beginning of next year. I can't wait for you guys to see that mod. Just wanted to mention briefly that our bros for speed decals we will be offering for a dollar for the rest of the year on our remaining supply. Definitely check out that information down below to get your own sticker. So to start off in today's video, we'll be removing the center dash piece along with one trim piece to the left of the steering wheel. So the one that covers the navigation screen, very easy to pop out. You just kind of have to wiggle it a little bit. There's tabs throughout it, very easy to do. Just kind of pull a little bit so you don't break anything, but it easily pops right out. And then the trim piece to the left of the steering wheel. You do have to lower the steering wheel because this piece is connected to some of the trim pieces along the center gauge set out. But again, easy to do, just start wiggling it very slowly and then that one will pop right out. So with both pieces out of the truck now, we actually tried to wrap this piece yesterday and just with the difficulty of how the piece is shaped, we have some tears and some spots. You can see some bubbles and everything around it. So we feel we can do a better job with the paint. So now if you are planning to wrap this or paint it, you will need to take it farther apart. There's some screws located on the back side, which we already did yesterday in order to wrap that. You can see on this piece here, we've already done that to take this piece off. That'll make it much more easy to wrap or paint. And the last thing that you have to do is just pop all of these tabs. Some require a flat head. And we separate this inner housing from what we're gonna wrap. First on the to-do list, we have our 2000 grit sandpaper. We're gonna go ahead and rough these up a little bit, get them all cleaned and prepped, and they're ready for paint. So we have our cleaning solution just to get any of the residue, grease, whatever off before we lay down our paint. You can see our nice little propped up pieces. So we're about to start on the painting now. Brian is working on shaking up the primer. I also have the clear coat and then this blue here is very, very close to the truck color. It is a blue pearl. So these pieces being on the inside obviously won't be next to any of the exterior OEM paint. So any differences are going to be very hard to see. So this should match very nicely. So how are they looking? Pretty good. We got one yeah. little piece of dust over here, but uh, now we'll just sand it smooth again, and then re-clean it, and then we will color it. So that is one coat of blue down on the interior trim pieces. They're looking really good so far. Now while they're drying, we're gonna show you how to remove the chrome bumper caps on the bumper because I am ditching the chrome. So it was kind of a struggle in taking these end caps out, but there are four clips that come out underneath. This clip goes on the back side here and that's the only thing that kind of held us up aside from trying to pop this cap off. So we're not sure how to get that back in yet. So these little clip or whatever plastic tabs, I found the easiest way is just use two flatheads and you can see they just pop right out. So there's three more tabs on the bottom side and then there's two on the outside and then we can start working on this black plastic up top. We have to pop those two black tabs out for the inside of this. Let's see if we can take a look. Can you see those? Let's um, see. One right here, if you can see my finger, and one right here. This is the back side of that plastic black guard there. that bad but it's gonna be hard putting that back together. Hardest part Maybe. this thing is really in there and you gotta get this in the air because the whole top of this yeah those two longer tabs there go up here a little ways. But well, we'll bad. figure out how to put it back in. How's it look? Or, have, what, can you see it? The dog hair right there. 
when it dries a little bit, we'll take a oh. needle just under it and we'll pull it right up. Well, at least there's a gap on it yeah. to get that needle. Yeah, okay. and that is, that's the top side, but that, that'll come out nice. That's, um, that's in the inside of the gauge cluster. All right, so that's So it, it, it's hard to see, but we can snag that. Other than that, yeah. the coverage is getting there. One or two more. It coats. looks really close. Let's let it focus. It's looking really good. Yeah, coverage wise, there's a few spots that are a little thin. But that's only coat two. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. Maybe three or four. The color's getting a little darker per coat, which is expected because the brighter yeah. primer needs to be covered. Yep. But it's getting there. So while those are drying onto the uh, bumper end caps, we are going to just straight plasti dip these. That way is going to be way easier. Do a couple coats of Plasti Dip so it's nice and thick. That way it is removable if I choose to go back to stock. And it's gonna get scratched up and peel up, so. From off-roading or yeah. just general dirt kick up, so. But it'll look good and uh, easy cheap. Oh, woo. good thing we're covering them up. So you got the dog hairs out? Yep. But uh, one of them was a little too far in, so we're just sanding it lightly just to smooth it out again. I'm wearing gloves this time so I can actually touch them without getting oils on them. Everything is finished up now, we're just letting it dry. We're gonna reinstall everything tomorrow. That way we are sure everything is dry and we don't mess anything up on the reinstallation. But it is all looking really good so far. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take more of the vinyl that we had tried wrapping the interior pieces with and I'm gonna do the Toyota across the front of the grill. I think that'll look really cool. If not, I can always take it off. it's the next day we got these pieces all set and ready to go how did we get it out yeah just kind of push it in there yeah oh my gosh and you know so even though this is technically a different color like from here you yeah. could never tell being that they're not next to each other Does that look like it's in all the way over there? Yeah, I think, I think, I think so. In. Oh, that looks so cool. Ooh. That looks amazing. I have to get a panning shot from the back seat. So that's looking really good. It was about $40 worth of paint. So the primer, some paint, and then a couple coats of clear coat. Looks really good. Let's move on to the rear bumper caps. So we're about to install the other bumper end and we just wanted to show you guys we went with Plasti Dip, that was the first time using it, but if you can see it has this nice textured look to it, it doesn't look just like black plastic. The grill has this nice black textured look as well. So it's gonna match really well compared to just looking like a plastic black bumper. So we got that side in, I think it looks really good, like it matches well with the matte black. It was actually way easier to put in than it is to take out. So we line those two clips up, push it into place there. Did that second one pop? Yeah. And then, that's it. And last thing is to remove the V6 badge. Oh yeah. Maybe not today, because it's 30 degrees uh, right now, it's but. It's so cold right now. But yeah. but yeah, so let me get these in. Just five of these. I don't think we're gonna put this clip back in, simply because 
it's supposed to go right here and there's no way to to put that in so that was our small project for the Tacoma. I like how I've seen some of the Inferno ones come with that interior body color trim pieces. I think it looks really cool. I went ahead and added the blue vinyl to the front letters. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of that. I can easily remove it if I don't like it. The rear bumper came together nicely with the Plasti Dip. It's gonna get a little beat up off road, but it is just a temporary fix for now. Later down the road, I might upgrade the rear bumper, but for now, just ties in well with more of the matte black. So that sums up the mods for the Tacoma for 2017. Make sure you guys subscribe because at the beginning of 2018, a huge mod is coming to the truck. Definitely stay tuned for that mod. So it's 32 degrees outside, time for me to go inside. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. I'll see you guys next year.